in general, most of the Swedes are sympathetic uh, to indigenous matters. And, uh, and of course, as you said, uh, that type of events as we had in Norway have an effect on the, on the, on the, on the opinion in the country. Uh, but we haven't really such uh, issues. We had the Alta case on the Norwegian side, and uh, we haven't had uh, such a case in in Sweden. But now there is, I think, uh, the Swedish Church has uh, taken a lead in this uh, question about reconciliation, uh, looking on what the church, because the church has been, as in Canada and other places, quite deeply involved in in handling these bad things related to indigenous people. So they have they have now uh, joined the process of reconciliation and uh, this also has been a discussion towards the Nordic country, uh, the government to, to start with the process and uh, I think it's in the end of this month there's a conference in Umeå about this uh, thematic about uh, how to, about the through commission to, to fact find what have happened and, and all that. And you're also looking on other examples in the world. You have had examples in South Africa, you have New Zealand, you have Canada. Uh, so uh, hopefully there's going to be some kind of a result of, of that uh, uh, that process. And, uh, and I, in this uh, work made by the church, uh, the, the scientific community has been uh, quite helpful because they published uh, two big, very thick books uh, some months ago about, uh, about uh, the, the recent history uh, from different uh, scientific fields. So there is a, hopefully on the way, but uh, we need to have a, 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 some kind of a, a that, that the broad, broad opinion in the, Swe in the Swedish com community is, uh, supports that. So it's, uh, we will see. Just a, a quick comment about that. Uh, some years ago, uh, quite a number of years ago, anyway, the then uh, Sami minister, the Swedish Sami minister, um, it always used to alternate, probably still does, between the Minister of Agriculture and the Minister of Education, has as a little side job being the Sami minister as well. Uh, anyway, uh, she stepped up and apologized to the Sami people uh, I think uh, largely because of this uh, terrible confiscation of the uh, small game, uh, the exclusivity of Sami small game, which was just taken. Oh, you have enough birds, we'll just, we, we'll take the rest. Um, anyway, she apologized not only for that, but she apologized for the past colonial history, I believe, and, and uh, all the different things that one could possibly have to apologize for. And the Sami people were standing there saying, ah, yes, yes, yes. And then, of course, you were hoping, uh, everyone was waiting to see what she was then going to come with as the basis of this apology. Are we going to change the law? Are we going to do something for you? Are we going to uh, start a new... Uh, Sami center, a cultural center, or, a, or something, or, or return to, uh, you know, disavow this confiscation of your small game hunting rights. But that was it. Nothing. Nothing. And uh, when it came to the small game hunting rights, she just said, oh, well, to, um, to return, though it had only been in effect for some years, they said to return the law to its previous state, which we agreed was where it should be, and we regret what has happened, uh, but that would cause more uh, racial turmoil amongst the people in the North than it would be just to let it be. So, so, so nothing, nothing again. Can I comment on it? Yes, but let me throw in something there that you can maybe also comment on that that has to do with this. Is it time then for Sweden to have some sort of truth and reconciliation commission? Is, would that be a good idea? And if so, what, how would it, what do you think it would look like? How would you like it to look like if we would have it? Yes. <laughs> Uh, first, I can have a very short comment because it's uh, it is necessary both for us but also for the the Swedish uh, society. But I, I I I also want to say that it should be a, you have the nearest example is in Canada because then you, it was the civil society who took the lead, not the government. So I think it is uh, up to the Swedish uh, civil society to take that step, but together with the Sami people. So that's. Uh, 
that's a, a big challenge. Of course, the government can can of course uh, encourage and maybe finance, and of course with the help from the church. And, and so it's uh, it is up to the actually up to the civil society to, together with the Sami civil society to try to find out, out ways to to calm down the situation. I think this is, of course, the answer is yes, they, they should. Um, but what I try to explain to other people what the Psalms are actually going through, I explain it as a civil war. In civil wars, what you destroy first are churches, schools, work areas, places that are important to the people. What Sweden does, and what other countries do to stop it, is destroy our churches, schools, and workplaces. And as we live in this civil war, they will never take responsibility. So of course they can raise the statue of Elsa or whatever. I mean, they can say whatever, but the, we need action. And that's what it is. I actually do not care what people tell me that we should do, or this is so sad for you, and it's great that the church actually made a statement, but the government, they will not touch this question because we still live in it. And as long as we really want to see a difference, we have to stop this industry is going on. But the Somis is a group of people that we have a hard time now be be seen as a, a real group of people is still a comparative for, for for others. And if we really want, uh, if the Swedish government should really do something, we should get, get into laws here. I have a friend of mine, he got two and a half years prison because he protected his reindeers from a predator. I have friends that got raped. I, had, I mean, I have <laughs> that are very close to me and the rapists are still out there. They do nothing about that, but they made a statement, the government made a statement to put a reindeer herder in prison. He got two and a half years. And that's the laws in Sweden. And they said, we want to make this a statement because you should know your place. Do not mess with us. This is our predators. They moved a wolf. I don't know how many times they moved it. Four times. It cost um, tax money, like three, four million crowns for a wolf. But we have the, the young zombies committing suicide. Like I have 10 friends committing suicide because something is wrong with the laws because we are not treated as non zombies. And that is the truth. So they can do whatever. They can write a book. They can make a statement in media, social media. They can put me on a pedestal or they can put Yunani Fieri and Yunani Yogi and Adi Fasvala. They can do that. That is great and it looks good. But you have to get into the laws and change the system because now it's okay for other countries to come to our place because they say, like Pius and Claire Poulton said, when Gabo, the whole Gabo history, what local people? We see no one on this land. What are you talking about? You have reindeers? But where do you live? This land is empty. So as long as you can go in and take the land, don't tell me anything. And I'm serious, that this moves me so, so much. It's hard for us now to be a people because we don't have our own country. So when they take the land and we have no land left and we have no reindeers left, yes, only 10% of the zombie population are reindeer herders. But it's a very important 10% because that is something that actually tells other people that we are indigenous. This is the indigenous culture. When they've taken all of that, what do we have left? A language? A language that almost nobody speaks? And this, Sweden knows this. So that's why they didn't do anything, because they wait for it to become a history that they can talk about. In 20 years, they can talk about the Sámis. In 20 years, they can talk about how it looked like before. They can, um, they can show Hugh's book. This is how it looked like. Now they can stop it, but they won't because they only have to wait like 20 more years for this to go on and it will become a history. So of course they can go out and say whatever in social media or do something at Telefira. We need to get into the law system. We need my generation to get that educated that we are actually getting 
to get into the right positions, journalists, lawyers, um, we need to, to be up with the politicians, the Swedish government, not only the Zombie parliament, but the Swedish government. So this has to be now, now, not in 20 years, it could be too late in 20 years. So this is great to have these meetings and talk about it, but it needs action as well. That's why I made this rebel blueprint. As if you're an indigenous or just someone that is a little bit out there, I'm, in, I'm, I'm an indi indigenous and I'm a woman and I'm a mother and I'm an artist, so I made my own career. I got loose from the society, I made my own career. I'm all of a sudden extremist. Everything I do is extreme. No. I fight for my rights, I fight for my for my grandparents, what they did, for my ancestors and for my kids' generation. I'm not an extremist, but you made me one. They call me the terrorist because I protest. They want us to say that we are not so happy. No, we know this is so sad. This is so sad. Um, look at the Native Americans. Yeah. Oh, how sad that is. This is reality, this is civil war, and I know it, and we all know it because we live in it. And tell that to the parents that lost their kids because of this, because they couldn't do it anymore. Because it's too hard, it's too hard to do this. Everything is against you all the time, and especially when you work with reindeers, you have no respect for the government. This is all you do if you work with reindeers. That's your life. It's, it's a lifestyle. It's not a work. It's, it's a lifestyle. When we have, when we have a whole government that work against that and take everything from you, my friend, when he got two and a half years, he just got a kid. Old parents, a new child, and uh, and his girlfriend standing all alone out there and no support, and and a fucking court that tells him that you are the example. We will make a statement here. Don't mess with us. So yes, it's great to have excuses and, and that they are so sorry for what happened, but they are not sorry for what is happening. So that's all I want to say. Right on, Maxina.